first, take a deep breath and calm yourself down. You know, it's, these things will work themselves out, and the worst thing you can do is panic or react without first thinking things through. An employee who's not already terminated, for example, who is still at work or fears they're going to be fired, or maybe is already terminated but, but still has access to information, should document everything that's happening. Write it down. If they're in meetings, take memos, take notes. If they have communications that help prove their case, they should save those, obviously within the boundaries of what they're allowed to do. And also make sure that their reputation is strong with the people that they know. Basically, when we're investigating a case, we look for three things. We look for a person who is credible, who's telling a story that makes sense, that we, we trust. Secondly, we look for documents or evidence that confirms what they're saying. And thirdly, we want to talk to people who can corroborate them. Many times people think that they should only call a lawyer if they've been fired. That's not true at all. Of course, if you've been fired or you feel you've been wrongfully terminated or you're facing retaliation you know, after the fact because you can't get another job or something like that, definitely that's the time to consult with a lawyer and we can definitely help you with that. But also consider that when you're all still employed and you're facing issues, you need consulting. You need somebody to help you guide you through the quagmire and get you to the end, whether it's exiting the company or getting the problems in the company fixed. That's work we can do as well.